Hello everyone, on this episode I'm going to be talking about the Conqueror and the Pacer challenges. Seeing how it's been about two years almost since uh, I last did some videos on these challenges, I figured I would come back and uh, talk about them again, tell you what's different, what's going on with them, and uh, if my opinion has really changed at all. Well, for starters, my opinion on whether to do Conqueror or Pacer hasn't really changed. I mean, really, they're both got their pros and they got their cons. So, really, I would just tell you to go with either destination that you like or a medal or, you know, a good distance that you want to do. I mean, there really isn't that big of a difference. I mean, some things Pacer does that I like more than Conqueror's. And there are some things that Conqueror does better than Pacer, but it really is up to you. Now, they uh, have done a few new things. <clears throat> Basically, Pacer is trying to add a few ideas that I think they stole from Conqueror, like having the um, postcards and stuff. Like, as, you know, you go through your journey and uh, let's see. Yeah, basically you go through your challenge and uh, they drop in some uh, postcards and stuff. Basically what Conquerors has been doing for a long time now. Let's see, yeah, this stuff, yeah. So, you know, they're kind of stealing from each other a little bit. Just a little bit, which I find kind of funny. Like, um, Conqueror actually just uh, took it to Pacer. Basically, uh, you know how Pacer always had London. Um... Paris, and where's the other one? Uh, where, where did they go? I know it's one of their most popular medals. Let's see. Yep. Ah, Rome. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Pacer usually does, like, city locations for their challenges and stuff. So, now, Conqueror is kind of doing that a little bit, too, with... Uh, this challenge they just came out with, London, Paris, and Rome. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Kind of giving Pacer a little bit of a challenge there. Now, um, I actually did buy this. I actually have bought a ton of challenges lately. Like, I think I have, like, eight Conqueror challenges I need to do, and I think I've got, like, five Pacer challenges I need to do. But, um... Right now, I'm going through a challenge with my fiance. We are going across China right now, doing the uh, Great Wall of China. Let's see. Nah, 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 nah. It's one of their longer ones. Come on and load, you bastard. Let's see. Where is China? Be fire if it was all the way at the top. Here it is. Yeah. So, yeah, we're doing 2,183 miles across China. So, naturally, this has taken a little while. I think we've spent about five months or so. And we've only got about 600 miles to go. So, yeah. But, yeah, this is a fun challenge. That's the thing, too. In case you don't know, you can actually form a team with anybody and... Do the challenge together. So me and my fiance are currently going through this one. Yeah, 29 postcards. <laughs> and if you don't want to do the 2100 miles, you can just do the pussy one, 161 miles. But, you know, if you're going to do the Great Wall, do the Great Wall, man. But, uh, yeah, when, uh, when I get done with that, I got a ton of challenges to do. I don't even remember what I got on the Conquerors because... Um, Doing uh, the Christmas sale, I bought like five challenges. Let me see if I can remember. Uh, they gave me this one for free, basically. Uh, yeah, Challenge Yourself 2023. Yeah. I guess you basically just pick a distance and try and meet it this year. So, yeah, they actually gave me that one for free. It's a pretty good deal. Um... Yeah, I got the English Channel. I want to do a rowing machine on that one. 21 miles. I mean, 21 miles. I mean, that would take me like three days to walk that. Because I walk so much at work, so that's not really a challenge. But doing it on a rowing machine? Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be interesting. I think I got this one. Angor Wat. 
Got the balloon wall. Might have gotten the Inca Trail. Not sure. Uh, pretty sure I got Petra. That's going to be a cool one. And I got the uh, Strato Heal. Or Heal. Yeah. <laughs> Forgetting my Portuguese. Yeah. So that's going to be another long one. That's going to be a thousand miles from me. So that'll be a good one. I uh, might have gotten that one too, India. I can't remember though. But yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I guess while I'm over here, I'll talk about Pacer. I mean, uh, Conquerors. Excuse me. But yeah, they just came out with these new ones. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I like it. It's got a lot of the monuments and stuff on it. Good uh, necklace thing. Yeah, yeah. Very lovely. Definitely reminds me of my trip to London, so I'm going to enjoy that one. The Paris one, I'm not really digging. I don't know. I mean, the Pacer one is pretty nice. Yeah. I don't really like that. Like, that's kind of lame. Could have been something a little cooler than that. But on the outside, it looks freaking nice. You know, very swanky. But this one, I'm just like, why did they pick patina green? Like... I don't get that. I guess that's like a cafe or a bistro, but I don't know why they went with this green because Paris does not look like that. Yeah, Paris is a very kind of stone white color. Now, I'm okay with the back. They got like the fireworks and the Eiffel Tower and stuff. I'm okay with that. It's just, I don't know why they went with green. They should have done white, but then I guess all three challenges would have been white. But I mean, it's not, it's not a green city. Now, this one is really nice. The metal. Yeah, this is a lovely, lovely metal. Yeah, look at that bat. That, yeah. Do they have a picture of that? Let me see. Try and get a close-up. Dang it. But, yeah, they. I don't know how they did it, but they made stone, or they made metal look like stone. Like, this metal is just, wow. Doesn't really look like Rome, though. I mean, this could be Las Vegas, for <laughs> crying out loud. But the back is nice, like the mosaic, the tile mosaic. That's just beautiful. Now, the coin, I wish that said Roma or SBQR. I don't really know why I would say Rome, but, you know, a little touristy, I guess. But, yeah, SBQR should have been what they put there. But, yeah, this is nice. I just wish it had, like, uh, you look at the um, Pacer version. It's got, like, all the monuments of Rome in it. It's got the... Uh, Colosseum, it's got, what does it all got? Yeah, it's got St. Peter's Basilica, it's got everything. It's even got a cool clock in the background of Roman numerals. Yeah, this is a very nice medal. That was probably one of the first Pacer ones I ever got, actually, so. Yeah, I mean, this is very lovely, but it doesn't really say Rome like the Pacer one does, but, you know. Um... Now, Conquerors, I haven't really seen too many new medals that I like other than these three. Like, they've been doing a lot of national parks lately for whatever reason. Like, Rocky Mountains, eh. I mean, that's not really, not really speaking to me. I mean, the colors are pretty, but it's just like, there's a backpack, like, okay. I mean, it's, it's cute, I guess. Let's say it's cute, yeah. And the uh, Great Barrier Reef, this one's kind of odd <laughs> yeah kind of kind of okay i mean like, yeah i mean not really not really rocking me and west coast trail yeah i don't even know what the fuck south downs way is the hell is that is that like a roulette table <laughs> what is that i don't even know uh looks like a tudor rose yeah Lancaster and York. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Yosemite. I thought that was kind of lame. They could have done better metal on that one. Don't even know what that is. Transylvania is kind of cool. I guess that's the boogeyman or whatever. Baga Yaga, whatever the fuck. Niagara looks kind of cool. Yeah. It kind of has that old newspaper engraving kind of look. Especially on the back. Looks like a newspaper. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that one's all right. 70 miles isn't bad either. 
Let's see. Yeah, that's kind of the problem I've uh, been having with uh, Conqueror and Pacer is that their challenges are kind of low on the mileage. Like 34 miles, 33 miles. I mean, at least London's 75. I don't know where the fuck we're going in London, 75 miles, but okay. City's not quite that big. But uh, yeah, Pacer's been kind of doing that same thing. Like uh, I recently bought their Prague medal. It's only 13 miles. You know, maybe if I push myself and like try to walk 13 miles in a day, I guess I could make that a fun challenge. But I don't know. Yeah, a lot of their challenges, like 13 miles, 15 miles. I know a lot of people on my um, on my old videos were complaining about Pacer being short. And yeah, I mean, some of them are. You know, Santavini's 41, you know. But then they kind of have some long ones, like uh, Dracula's Road. I actually just bought this for me and my fiancé. This is probably what we're going to do after China's Provence. Yeah, this is very beautiful metal. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's a good distance. What was that? Yeah, 193 miles, 311 kilometers. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good little challenge. And uh, yeah, I actually have that one. I'm waiting until I actually start reading the book to do this one, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, too, I kind of like about Pacer. They think outside of the box. Like Conquerors, I'm going to do a Don Quixote challenge, you know? So, yeah, I like how they think outside of the box. La Mancha. Very cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I guess thinking outside the box for Conquerors would be their Lord of the Rings challenges. <clears throat> this is very, very cool. And I will probably sign up for these maybe around Christmas this year. Wait until they have like a Christmas sale or something. Because this is really cool. Because the Lord of the Rings are my favorite movies and I just love it. Love it. Very happy they teamed up with, uh, <clears throat> I don't know who they teamed up with, Weta or um, New Line Cinema, like, I don't know. But yeah, they definitely uh, did a good job with these. And then they just came out with the Aragorn challenges, which are freaking gorgeous. Look at that, Rohan. Helm's Deep and Gondor, I mean, jeez. <clears throat> Usually I would say Pacer makes... Better looking medals, but I mean, they, yeah, look at that. They've been uh, they've been doing really good lately. Yeah. <clears throat> the only problem with uh, the Lord of the Rings challenges is they are expensive as fuck. Like I think the whole, basically, I guess the Frodo challenges. I think this is like two hundred dollars, and then the Aragorn's like a hundred and what, hundred and thirty, hundred and forty. Let's see. Oh, you could buy the whole thing for three hundred dollars. That's crazy. But I mean, that is like a whole year's worth of challenges, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, one hundred and twenty-seven for the three. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh wow, that's uh six hundred miles, one hundred forty-five. So yeah, I mean that's. Almost 2,000 miles right there. And then this is another... Jesus, <laughs> that's over 1,000 miles. Yeah, that's almost 1,500 miles. So, yeah, we're looking at like 3,500 miles of challenges here. So, I guess for $300, that's not god-awful. But yeah, that's, uh, that's really cool that they're doing that. I hope they keep doing it. And, uh, yeah, man. But yeah, Pacer, you know, they uh, they do some cool shit, man. They do some cool stuff. Um, I didn't buy anything during their Christmas sale because I didn't think their Christmas sale was all that good. Like, I think if you buy, like, three challenges, it's 10% off and they give you, like, a free medal or a free challenge. But it was kind of their bland challenges, like this, uh, Mount Fuji one was one of them. And I'm just like, eh. Compare that to the, uh, Conqueror version of the, uh, Mount Fuji. Let's see... Yeah, much better metal. Yeah, much better metal. And I think it's longer too. How long is this challenge? Oh yeah, this one's only 24. This one's uh, 46. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Much better, much better. So yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't buy anything. But um, 
I recently did buy some challenges. Like I got the Taj Mahal. This one's going to be a really good challenge. I got the Pride one. Um, I got the Santorini challenge. So, yeah. Did pretty good. Did pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, let's see. Pacer thinks outside of the box, like I was saying. Like, they'll do some uh, interesting challenges. Especially if you have, like, kids. Like, they have these animal ones. They have, um... Well, here's the animal ones. Uh, let's see. How many happen to load? Is this... Let's see. Why is it only doing that? Ah. Let's see. Try and find it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I guess this will do. Like for Halloween, they came out with all of these, which is kind of cool. Dracula's Road. I guess that takes you across Transylvania. And uh, <laughs> Conqueror did that too with their, uh, what was it? Dracula, Transylvania. Yeah. I uh, kind of like both of those. I might actually get both of these. Pretty cool. And uh, they did Sleepy Hollow. I'm definitely going to do that one. Yeah. Maybe next time I go up to New York, I'll do this one. Yeah, that's fucking badass. Then uh, Georgia Undead Trail. <laughs> See, now I live in Georgia. That's very funny. I guess because they filmed The Walking Dead here. So, yeah. Now, this is another thing they've done, uh, Zodiac Challenges. This is really cool. Good gift if uh, you know anybody into this kind of stuff. I actually just got my Pisces Challenge, so I'll be going through that eventually. So, very cool, very cool. And I did the 21 kilometers, which is like 13 miles. So, again, that'll be a little challenge, but you know. Let's see, and yeah, they do solar system challenges and stuff. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, well, little things like that. And they got these fairy tale ones for, yeah, if I had like a little girl or something, she would probably enjoy doing these. Uh, Alice in Wonderland and stuff. So, yeah, that's cool. It's cute, you yeah. know. And, uh,. Ocean animals, so, you know, they, they think outside of the box, and I like that, appreciate that and stuff. Now, as far as things that I don't like about these companies, um, one thing that is very annoying that the Conqueror Challenges does is, like, let's say you do what I just said, you know, buy this bundle. You have to pay shipping on each challenge. So let's say... You get the two for one bundle, so you only end up spending sixty dollars on three challenges. But you have to pay five dollars for shipping, five dollars for shipping, five dollars for shipping. So instead of it only being sixty, it's more like seventy-five. So that's very annoying. And when I did my uh, Christmas sale purchase with them, I bought like five challenges. I had to pay like thirty, thirty-five dollars just in shipping. I mean, it almost made it not worth doing. So that was very annoying. Now, Pacer, they, when you buy a bundle, they only charge you once for the shipping. I think it's like $4.50. So if you're going to bundle, definitely it's more cost effective to bundle with Pacer. Now, the only thing I don't like about Pacer is they don't really do that many sales. Like, they did their Christmas sale last year, and they did a Black Friday sale, and that was it. So it was kind of a, kind of annoying having to wait all year. And uh, one probably the biggest problem I have, though, with Pacer Challenges, and I wish I could talk to their team about this, is they, it seems like they buy their medals at once in bulk, and then when they run out of those medals... The challenge is done forever. Like, basically, I started noticing last year, I wanted to do, they had a Washington, Washington, D.C. challenge. Because I went to D.C. last year for the cherry blossoms blooming. So, I was like, eh, might as well do a D.C. challenge while I'm there. 
And I came to North America and I couldn't find the Washington, D.C. challenge. So I actually contacted their Facebook page and they said, sorry, this challenge is sold out. And, you know, that's basically it. I was like, well, are you going to get any more medals in? They didn't respond. So basically you will start to notice that they are running out of medals on certain challenges. Like you go to South America here, they only have two challenges. The first challenge I ever did was their Rio challenge. And it's probably still my favorite medal. I love this medal. Not a great picture of it, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's got Cristo Hedentor. It's got that Solarian stair motif going. It's a beautiful medal. Great challenge. Took you all over Rio de Janeiro. And it's gone. It's gone. Now, what they started doing was emailing you saying, hey, we're almost out of these medals. So if you want to get this challenge, get it now. And they'll put it on sale for like 10% or whatever. Now, seeing how I'm going through the Great Wall of China, Pacer had a Beijing challenge that I wanted to do. I was like, yeah, I'll stop over in Beijing and do like 100 miles or whatever. And I didn't get the email. Well, I didn't see the email saying that they were about to sell out of those until two weeks after they sold out. So I was like, fuck. So I'm never, ever going to get to do the Beijing challenge now. And that pisses me the fuck off. Like, come on. I wanted to do this challenge. And I don't know why they do that. Is there just something with their manufacturer? Like they can only have so many medals. I just don't get it. I'm like, guys, if it's selling out, that means it's popular. Popular means money like i mean that freaking rio metal would be selling like crazy it's so beautiful and perfect and everything and no yeah, they're just gonna let it sell out now what's weird is a lot of their like their original challenges are still here like this one and um that one's been around a while um that one's been there a while but yeah i just don't get it why they do that that's just not smart business as far as I'm concerned. And uh, Sydney, I think, is the current one on sale. Yeah, because it's about to sell out. But it's been on sale for like two or three weeks. And I guess it's just not a popular challenge. So it's still here. But, I mean, Beijing sold out like that. You know? And it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's very annoying that they do that. So now i got to be paranoid. Like, I want to do Puerto Rico. So... I got to keep an eye on Puerto Rico to make sure it doesn't sell out before I do it. You know, it's very annoying because, you know, you don't want to be rushed doing these challenges, you know. So now I got to keep an eye out. And um, I noticed that Santorini was on sale and there was another one. What was it? Yeah, Taj Mahal was on sale. So I was like, well, I didn't get an email that these were selling out, but why are they on sale? So I went ahead and bought them just in case they're selling out. So, yeah, that's why I bought those. So, yeah, it's very, very annoying. I don't know why they do that. I wish they wouldn't do that because a lot of their challenges I want to do. Like, I wanted to do that Washington, D.C. I wanted to do Beijing. I mean, that's $60 right there for them. I mean, that's money that they're just letting go. So very annoying, very annoying. But overall... Yeah, I really like Pacer. I think they're a good company. And, uh, you know, I think they, I like their ingenuity and how they think outside of the box. Like, if you do a challenge in each continent, like Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Oceania, and Antarctica, they actually send you a pin saying that you've been to all seven continents. So that's a really cool thing that they have and a really cool idea. So I want to get that one day. It's just, I don't know. Not really digging any of these. I guess their Honolulu challenge is okay looking. I don't know why they went with dark green. Like, this should be bright and beautiful. And uh, Conquerors has a... Yeah, they have a Hawaiian... Yeah. I like how they uh, made their ribbon lays. Yeah, flower lays. Yeah. That was clever. So, yeah. Very clever. Yeah, that's a pretty cool medal. I'd probably rather do that one than the... Even though this is giving me some uh, Magnum PI vibes. So, yeah. 
But yeah, I mean, like I said, both companies have the pros and the cons and stuff. Um, I mean, Conqueror, you know, if you are into biking, I think you'll probably enjoy their challenges more because they're long distance and stuff. So, And uh, I was talking to one guy from Australia. He's kind of pissed off how long it takes to get the medal. Like he was saying, he was saying it took him like a month after completing a challenge to get his medal. That's a good thing with Pacer is that you can actually tell them, go ahead and ship me the medal. So... Basically, if it takes you two weeks to do the challenge, well, by the time those two weeks are up, you should be getting your medal. So, I kind of like that. And, uh, you know, I just uh, recently actually went through this because I went to Amsterdam for my birthday two weeks ago. So, I <laughs> figured while I was in the uh, Netherlands, I would do this challenge. So, very cool. Very, very pretty medal. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool, especially if you get to travel a lot. And you're going to be walking a lot and stuff. Like, uh, I think one day there I walked like almost 12 miles. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, you might as well do a challenge while you're there. So, these things are fun. I really enjoy these things. And uh, I definitely intend to buy more and do more. So, yeah. But, yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm just kind of talking, showing you what's going on with these. Uh, let me know how you guys are doing on these challenges or... Just let me know what you think and stuff. So, yeah, man. I really enjoy these and I uh, like both companies and, you know, they got good stuff. So, take it easy and I'll see you next time.